Soka Mona title on Bacchanal Friday. Mr. Killer, you've rained for the last year. What has that rain been like? Well, you know, normally they say rain does fall, but that rain been elevated and that's not why it's showing. I mean, the rain been good. Just a greater feeling beyond the normal feeling daily, you understand why it's showing. And knowing that you're, that, that you're being victorious, you understand, it's, it's just a great feeling, of course. From from the first time I I, I won so come on um, every time I, I won the crown even though I I captured the crown I mean it, it's been traveling and and doing shows overseas and and somewhere so I mean mashing up the place far and wide you catch it and but this time it was a little bit different. You understand why it's showing? It was a little bit different. It, it, it was a greater response from from um, from people. You catch it because the performance was just off the hook. You understand? So everywhere you go, it's like, yo, Mr. Killer, I don't know where you're born or where you come from, but you're out here bad. <laughs> you understand why it's showing you? And keep up the good works and stuff. And even the, the older people, you know, I like when older people could, could come and say, yo, Killer, I love your work. You understand why it's showing you? I, I respect that. So that means I'm I, I in the right part. You understand why it's showing you? And, and it was like that after, after this title, you know? So, I mean, it was good, man. It was, it was to me, when, when, I, when, I, when, I, when, I, when I look at life itself, you know, I mean, it ranges within a whole set of different dimensions and, 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 and feelings and all that sort of stuff, you know, that, that we go through every day. And I always say, I mean, I, I will always work hard. I will always do my best, you understand? I will always go towards victory. Yeah. It's when the pressure on, I work the best. Yeah. You understand why I'm showing you right now? I start to feel that pressure. I mean, I have some tunes lined up, you catch it, but I, 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 I ain't really sit down and say, well, all right, killer, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. You understand why I'm showing you? Well, I know this year is going to be trouble. You understand why I'm showing you? I have something about trouble coming. You understand why I'm showing you? And when we say trouble, we don't mean fight. We don't mean no war. We come to give trouble. We come to give soca trouble. Okay. I mean musical trouble. And you know what is soca trouble? Jumping. Waving rags, flags, the stadium vibrating. That is trouble. You understand why it's showing you? Right, right. So this year when we reach, you know what I say? Nobody don't tell we nothing because we come to give trouble. Make a rag them duck and double. Spin it around in a circle. You can't sit and it just bite. You go get it just now. But <laughs> what are the rules that govern your writing when you sit down to write? <clears throat> I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't sit down to write. I never, I never ever really sit down to write a song. You know? I can't, I can't pick up a pen and a paper and sit down to write a song. It don't, it don't work. You catch it. When, when I finish, I don't really like it. Most of the times, you catch it. So I build rhythms. See, when I don't build that rhythm, I will make sure that I will just lock the studio door, sit down inside there, and just turn it up. Just close my eyes. And sometimes inside of the music, you see, music is a spiritual thing, you know. Music have a vibes. That's why I like so much drums, you know. I mean, I grew up beating drums and stuff. And anytime I start building my music, I build from the drums come up. And when that drum start rolling over and tumbling and stuff, and I start feeling the vibe, sometimes when you start building the music, you hear like people already singing inside of the, 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 the rhythm. You can hear like voices sometimes inside of the rhythm. I mean, some people will say, Why are you killing? Why are you talking? Why are you hearing? I, I just hear it, you know, inside the music, inside of the drums and stuff like that. And then sometimes I just sit down inside there for a whole hour. Sometimes two hours I just sit down with my eye closed, listening to the rhythm. And then I start hearing the songs. I, I could feel it, you understand? And then I start building pictures in my mind. Because if you listen to most of my songs, most of my songs is like stories. So I build this whole movie in my head. You understand what I'm showing? And when I build this movie, I, I just simply say what I see in this movie. You understand why I'm showing you? So then, seeing it, and then speaking it. So now I just turn on the rhythm, 
Just jump in the boot. Record songs, man. And you do all that work in your own studio. A lot of us don't know that, but you build your own rhythms. Yeah, well, I, I build my own studio and stuff like that. Um, well, you know, I, I be, I, I'm not a producer. I do part producing, you understand why I should know. We build rhythms and stuff like that. I build most of my own jump patterns and every so, everything like that. Last year, um, um, I had a youth working along with me, um, um, Jude, Jude Robinson. And then this year, well, you know, for, for all the years gone by, Dutty Dutch Productions, that is out of St. Lucia, you understand? That's the guy that produced um, um, with, with all Beanie Man and, and Marshall Montano and all those guys like that. I mean, he been my producer for years from since Warriors and stuff like that. He 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 did those, he did those songs, you know? Um, um, so he always there. He always there when come to my music. Um, and then we have FIBA, that's um, Black Magic, um, um, Smoke Screen Studios, you understand why I show you I work along with them. Um, and I must say, early in the starting, you understand, I must big up Kevin, you understand why I show you I remember the first time I, were, I won Soka Monarch, Stuff like that. I, I, I went to um, New York, did some shows, came back to Trinidad, and there were supposed to be some people there to meet me, and they received me at the airport and stuff like that, and, and to, 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 to help me out, you understand? Because I, I didn't know nothing about Trinidad. I had some shows to do and stuff like that, and there was nobody there. You understand why I'm showing you? There was nobody there. I spent days in the hotel by myself. You understand why I'm showing you? I came up. Um, Go in the bank, take some money out, and I tell him the street up. I lied to my mother and say, Mama, now nah, you have people down there, everything will be all right, and that, that. And I went back down, me alone. You understand what I'm showing you? I alone, me and God alone. And I, and I battled it out for myself as a youth man, you know, getting to know Trinidad all on my own and stuff like that. I didn't feel like a king because I wasn't treated like a king. So then the next year, coming back into that, I think that is where the attitude really grew because after I won and stuff, I was excited. Then that does break you down when you realize that the same people that is in authority or whoever it is never even show a face. You understand why you're showing you to treat you like if you won. And that kind of break down the spirit, break down the vibes a little bit. So then the next year coming in, you know, I didn't really feel in that vibe because I, I was wondering like what this, what this king thing is about. You understand why I'm showing you? It just lasts for, for one night, for one moment in time. You understand why I'm showing you? So, and then that's it. That is what it felt like. You understand? So, the next year coming along, I didn't really feel that vibes. I mean, I, I, I pushed out, but I didn't push my all and stuff like that. You understand why I'm showing you? I relax and as the time pass again, you know, seeing somebody has coming to take it and then my fans telling me, yo, kill a walk to you, man, yo, you have to win the thing, you know, da 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 da. You just build back up the vibes again because I feel like I need to go back and take something that is mine. You understand why I'm showing you? I need to attack again. You understand why I'm showing you? So then the attitude build from there like, yo, I just love to attack. When time for attack, I say, baddest thing when come to attack. <laughs> you understand why I'm showing you? Don't let me have to attack you. <laughs> you understand? That's why you come like. You understand why I'm showing you? Because I will load up all the soaker weapons to come for you. You catch it? And that's why it was like, you understand? So I came. And then I, I, I won, and then the next year again, um, I think that was the year where I got kind of messed up and stuff, where I couldn't find my, my, my clothes and this and that, blah, 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 whatever it is. And then the next year again, that made me more angry. So then I have to attack again. And you know, when it's time to attack, you know, <laughs> you can't, we'll get it done, we'll make our building fall if we have to get to you. So then that way it was like, you understand why I shouldn't. So we come and we clamp it down and stuff like warriors and all them stuff like that. You catch it. The next year after that, which was 2008, I defended. That year I defend. I, I, I defend because I say, you know, they always tell me, yo, killer, you can't defend it. Killer, I don't feel you go defend it. It's like one time to defend it doesn't bother with it. And <laughs> thing right. I say, I say, now nah, this year I go bother with it. And that year I, I put out all that the first time I did the fly thing with stuff, you know, and it was wicked. I mean, the performance, I was pleased with myself. And there's few times I pleased with myself. I, I, I'm a great critic of myself. Huh? You understand? Most of my music, somebody will have to tell me, yo, killer, I like it, the song good, man. And I would be like, nah, I ain't really like it. You understand why I'm showing you? And somebody would say, no, killer, because I always want to be as, as best as I could. You understand? Right. So, after that happened, 
that made me more angry again. So then 2009, you understand why I showed me, I said, no, nah, I have to take it to a total different level. I mean, these have been thinking, these have been wondering, like, what would I do, where the idea would come from. It's like, I already, I've been persistent. You see that, I've been doing enough songs. You have years that gone by where I did 12 songs, you understand why I showed you, and good songs, you understand, and producing all that material is not easy. Anybody think that it's easy is not easy. Ask any artist, you understand why I'm showing you? Because sometimes you wonder where the idea is coming from. What would you sing about again? What would you say to make sense, you understand? To put in this whole thing so people could jump and weave to and feel good about it. I, 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 I went to sleep one night and I, I tell people that I, I dreamt it. My, 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 my performance, my whole vibes came from my, my dreams. You understand why? Because I think about it so much. When you when you step on the stage to on, in a soccer mona, is there one artist or two artists or three artists in Grenada that you most wary of? And you even after you perform, you want let me see how that guy will go down. Well, of course. I mean, you 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 you, you always be uh, aware because it's a competition. You know, at the end of the day, we all are friends. We all are good. You understand why it's showing now, bodies and stuff like cousins. that. Huh? In some case, cousins. Yeah, of course. My cousins, my cousins. You understand why I'm showing? Because when they started, I used to travel up and go by them and, you know, boom, 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 vibes with them and everything like that. And it's a love. You understand why I'm showing? No love lost. It's a love. You catch it. We keep it together like that. You catch it because at the end of the day, this music wouldn't last forever. There was a youth coming just now to take killer players. There was a youth coming just now to take Lunis Park and Electrify a place. There was a youth coming just now to take Inspector place. There was a youth coming just now to take Talpy place. You understand? We don't last forever. You understand why I'm showing you? We soul last forever. You understand? Our spirit will travel on. But in this world today, you understand? You know that we have our time. And this is our time. So when we try to keep the love within our time. So on that night, is 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 different. I just tell you straight up, it's all man to the own order. <laughs> and that night, they understand why I'm showing you. I mean, still with the love I have, I will still make sure that even though I pass and I see something wrong with somebody else close, I will say, yo, dog, you know, fix that and thing. So, it's because it's a love. It's greater. It's greater things to life than this. You understand? It's just a competition, and music itself is a mission. So then. When I go into Soka Monaco, according to who make it to the finals, I will listen to the music, I will hear the music while I go in along. I don't try to focus on it too much. You understand why I'm showing you? Because I don't want to build my attention to attack one manner. You understand why I'm showing you? I go in there to crash everything. But between me and you, I'll tell you from my heart, I don't like competition. Because I think competition takes away from an artist. It really does. Because sometimes, I sit down and I could get so creative with music, but then I have to focus on Soka Muna. So I have to go and build this tune now and focus on this tune the whole time. When other music passing inside of the mind and you're just discarding it, you're just throwing it away. And you never know if some of the music that you, that you brush away could be a world hit. You understand what I'm showing you? So competition does distract the artist sometimes. But at the end of the day, it's the vibes, we're in it. And you have to be in it to win it. So. Yeah, and I think that's why reggae artists, they're more prolific. They release a song any time of the year. Right. They don't wait for a competition. I mean, that, 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 that is how I think it, 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 really, it, it really should be. Because, I mean, music, music is a great thing. Music is like, it's like life. Music, music is so great, man. It's, it, you don't know how to explain it. Because I think, yo, in Grenada, when, the, when, 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 um, when Carnival comes, you hear the local artists. When Carnival gone, That's it. you hear nothing about them. The songs start playing. You catch it? And then, because we focus on, on one thing, the Soka Mona, so we just build towards that. But I think there is things greater. Just like Marshall Montano, he, he, he has not been in competition for years. You understand why I'm showing you? And in the world today, he's still the number one. You understand why I'm showing you? So just that to show you that this music thing is not about competition. What is the hardest part about I mean, you have to deal with society itself. Dealing with society itself in Grenada today sometimes is, 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 is tough. Mm -hmm. To me, I make it very easy. You understand? Because I from the ghetto. I, I, I grew up in the streets. You understand why I show you? Know? I, 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 I know how to, to react to people. At the end of the day, and I'm not stupid, I'm a youth man, I read, I understand like how the mind works, you understand why I'm showing you, I study a lot, 
You understand his years now, like six years, I study spirituality, we are the world capabilities of one man, psychology, and them things. So I understand how the mind works, I understand people, you know, so I, certain things I don't take to heart because you will go to a party and then you might find one of your fans that drink the most among the rivers. I tell you, in the street up here yeah, because we don't have this conversation, you know, <laughs> we as artists would have. One of your fans that drink the most among the rivers on the night. Sometimes three days he drinking rivers. And he just up in your grill, you understand why? Yo, kill her, nah, nah, nah. 